Uh, welcome back to my channel guys. Thank you so much for the support um, on this channel. I know I haven't been uploading at all recently, so this is a comeback for me uploading um, leading up to 2021. I thought I'd share this game with you guys because I thought it was personally really funny on how I was able to play the game and someone else messaged me on PlayStation 4. Also, if you guys know how to stop that on PS4, like for me not to get in-game comments, that'd be appreciated as well. Um, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to turn it off because, you know, drama sells in today's world, so... Um, not saying that I want drama all the time, but, you know, uh, there are certain times when I'm streaming, um, I don't want there to be vulgar language on my streams, so, um, if they can somehow just have where, have a message where, um, I won't see it on the top left corner, which is fine, but later on you'll see what this guy messaged me when he was losing, and he was literally just running cover four drop the whole game. Um, I kid you not, and I had two ways to beat it, and he couldn't stop either of them, so, um, yeah, off the game, uh, I started off really poorly, actually, um, I started testing out abilities in Weekend League, by the way, um, you should never do that, you should always use your abilities on how you sh think you should use your abilities, so, um, this game was basically just me feeling my opponent out. Um, I think this is my maybe 10th game in Weekend League, so um, I'm getting a little tired, whatever. Um, but, you know, right here we have to throw a cover 3 beater right here, so uh, we got that going for us, and moving forward in the game, um, I, I had a trouble stopping uh, split close. You know, I was going to nickel two four five. I was going to three three five odd. Um, what else was I trying? And then eventually, I, I resulted in big nickel. Um, big nickel was my like last hope because I was just sending pressure. I didn't even care who was in coverage or who wasn't in coverage. Um, so yeah, uh, that worked out for me. And then he just got really mad because. I guess like when quarterbacks don't have um, gunslinger, it's kind of hard um, to throw the ball to your receivers because you have to throw it early, and that's what I've noticed this year. So um, for those of you guys that are playing Mutt, um, go get yourself a Josh Allen, um, Brett Favre, Cole Pepper, uh, whoever has gunslinger really. Even maybe, I mean, I don't know if Ben Roethlisberger has it, but... Anybody with the stock 95 throw power, go get yourself one. Um, so, yeah. But, as you can see, um, you know, I'm just subbing in my players because I realized recently that Ed Reed only had 94 speed. I just didn't like him on my field at all. Um, there are times where I would sub Dion in rather than him. But, you know, um, he's still on my team uh, just in case, like, somebody gets tired, really. This, I don't know how he caught, but it's a little bit of a long um, playmaker. Usually, if I throw a playmaker like that, it usually gets picked, um, especially if it's Bobby having mid-zone KO. Um, so, I don't know how he caught that, but kudos to him. So, I'm going to cover three uh, cloud right here. Um, just running stock, really, until he's going to make me adjust. Right here, I think I should have picked that, but I'm guessing height also factors into this game this year, so um, that's why we didn't get the animation on that. So um, the abilities I'm running are six acrobat or five acrobats, uh, one pick artist, um, one inside stuff, and one El Toro. I only tried El Toro before um, for this game because I wanted to see what it does. As you can see. Um, El Toro only activates when you have max rush points, so El Toro would be like really good if you had um, BOGO or extra credit and stuff like that, so El Toro is going to cost you a lot more ability points than for it to be effective, so people that run double or nothing, um, you guys should be fine. You shouldn't have any problem uh, getting pressure to a quarterback, so stick with that. 
until EA decides to give us more ability points. Um, just run double or nothing for now. Um, usually I run two inside stuffs because I don't really have problem getting pressure. All of my um, offensive linemen are all power rushers. So um, right here, I should have read that because um, his running back was lighting up the whole route. So um, I'm going to struggle here in the first half a little bit, but we're going to figure out what he likes to do. And then he's going to figure out that he doesn't know how to adjust and only run cover for drop. So um, right here, you know, I didn't really have time to set my audibles at all. Um, he's just quick hiking me and I'm not calling timeouts, which I should be in weekend league because, you know, you want your best plays and players on the field and you want your best adjustments. But um, take a note from my book. Uh, don't ever do that. Go, go adjust use your timeouts uh, first half timeouts aren't really the biggest thing in the world um, just have your defense ready uh, don't be in the position that I'm in today so fortunately for me he wasn't really good so I you know like he was a decent player but once someone figured out his team like his scheme he just couldn't adjust like as you can see here he's just running cover four drop which is fine you know, um, cover four is really good for um, a lot of coverages. You know, it's probably one of the best coverages in the game. Um, the only reason why I don't like to run it because I personally know how to bomb it. And if someone is bombing you, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, just because the zones are a little bit weird. So right here, I pump fake to there. I should have threw that. But I also had... Um, square wide open so you'll see that later on in the game I'm gonna go to that multiple times um, so yeah uh, right here you know I'm going for it on fourth and long or second and long rather sorry um, and I'm waiting for that Hester to run but you know Hester wasn't running far enough to the point where I can confident like confidently throw it so he wasn't in cover four that time, he was in cover two man, but um, if Hester wasn't tired, I think I could have got that off. Just because um, the deep path on the right side decided to play a little bit underneath. Um, so right here, you know, uh, I gotta make a play, you know. So I'm going to a route here. <coughs> I don't know if this gets picked. Probably does. But, no, I just take it. I remember this. So I just take my yards. Um, you know, he didn't want to put a spy. He only wanted to rush three. And he rushed all three at, t at a time, so... Um, he's running stock cover four drop right there. And... Honestly, his offense was pretty good. Um, the only problem with split close this year, as opposed to last year, is that... When people are sending pressure at you and you have a field general, it's really hard to get out of the pocket. Just because... Um, the blocking is... Oh my gosh. And then Ricky Jackson just shed myself. Um, the blocking in the scheme, if they're sending six or seven, is a little bit weird because you have two running bla uh, ba running backs that you know can dumb out real easily by um, fast DBs. So sometimes, like my camp chancellor will come in untouched for some for no reason. Uh, as you can see here, he's running this again, um, and I'm just in man, just because you know I was just testing him out. And he clearly knew how to beat it, so um, I was stubborn, went back to the same play again, which you should never do. If someone dots you up, you should change your coverage somehow. So he, he threw to a running back. Um, I kept that in mind just because I thought Bobby would play that in a curl flat. Uh, just because everybody had their um, everybody had their assignments and Bobby was left alone in a curl. But that's okay um, looking back I'm actually really happy that you know he threw that earlier because it helps me learn in the future plays that's about to happen so um, right here he's feeling good about himself and you know if you're up 14-0 and you started with ball it's a great position um, but the only problem is he started with ball 
And I couldn't throw that square out because I decided to be a moron and roll out of the pocket for no reason. My offensive line was doing their job, and I just decided that to take a look outside for no reason. So, um, right here, I'm blocking seven, and he's sending probably four or three. Yeah, so he's in cover four again. And I decided to be a moron again. So, um, right there, I probably could have had the, the square route. And now my Hester's going to be really tired. Um, yeah, so not a good position to be in. But um, all of a sudden, this now it becomes a game where I I have to make a play, you know. So, so I'm getting boxed basically right here, uh, which is fine. Um, fourth and 18, I realize too late that my Devin Hester's tired, but you're going to see it's going to get picked off right here, um, but it's fine. Um, and I threw it, and or it didn't get picked off. Probably would have been better if it did get picked off, but um, I'm being stubborn here again and probably going to give him some more points, I think. I, I don't exactly remember how this happened, but all I do remember is that, you know, um, I was just being hard-headed, and you never do that. want to do that in a weekly league game. Um, you can do that in head-to-head. -head, um, you know, if you believe in your defense or offense or whatever, that's fine. But, um, so right here, he scores. He's up two scores. And he's feeling good about himself, obviously. Um, but he doesn't realize that, you know, cover four is a vulnerable coverage with the deep post. Um, people that run deep posts on cover four, um, it can be really scary. Um, for people that are running cover four as their main defense. So right here, you know, um, I mean, I know that he's in cover four, so I don't really, I'm not really scared of what he's doing too much, just because I know I can lob this. So this is our first beater right here. I don't know how Ronnie Lott caught it to Hester. Um, that's 99 speed and Hester with 50 Seahawks. So right there, I don't know what just happened. But, you know, um, it's fine. He wanted to um, get it there. I think I throw a pick here. Um, not too sure. Uh, I think his running lot picks up in Devin Hester. Yeah. So, um, in this situation, just don't do what he did. Because he just got a safety off that. He stepped out of bounds and stepped back in. Um, if you're going to bring it out, just run straight forward. Don't choke right on the line. Um, so you can say I kind of got lucky there, but realistically, um, the way that he jumped that ball shouldn't have been lucky because I led past it inside or to the outside rather. So right here, um, I'm looking to see what he's doing. I just got Metcalf running in a slant. So I motioned the slant over, um, calling timeout. Um, so yeah. Um, he likes to stick to his old habits just because um, cover four looks so intriguing. But he also should know that I can throw it over his head. So um, there he learned his lesson. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention abilities for this game are um, gunslinger, I have threat detector, and then I have... Um, I don't have, I don't believe I have any offensive line abilities. Um, I have, on my slot receiver, I have route technician, slot apprentice, and the two apprentices for the running back and the tight end. So those are my abilities on offense. And then I told you my defensive abilities, but um, yeah. So if you guys ever want to run my scheme or just look at what I'm doing. You guys can comment down below on 
what you guys need help with. I'll do my best to answer. Obviously, right there, he threw a pick. Um, that's new Bobby Wagner. Um, he's extra juice for me because of Seattle, but obviously everybody doesn't like him because he's a linebacker. Um, linebackers this year are terrible, if you guys don't know, but um, I got him to 99 tackle and 99 awareness and 99 per play rec, so I wanted to see what that was about. Um, later on, if I get better safeties, I might not play him, but he's staying on my team for now. So he's in panic mode right now. Um, that's my play art for uh, my big nickel cover three. I said splits three. So you guys can see what I'm running here. Um, this is where I send uh, pressure just because it's really hard to uh, bag split close if you give him time. So I'm not trying to give him any time. Throws that right there. Um, I think Sha Shaquille Griffin puts on a great hit stick. Um, on Fort, like on, you should never quit. Uh, no huddle, unless you really need to. He has three timeouts. Um, there's no reason why he should be no huddling. Just because, like, if he accidentally gets a turnover, um, I can get the ball back, and that puts him in a dangerous situation, right? So, um, I like it that he's taking his checkdowns, and I got to adjust accordingly. So, um, I just gave him that a few times, and then now I'm putting a hard flat right there to play that. He throws the um, middle route. Great play by him. So, yeah. Um, now I'm going to show him the same setup, but I'm going to switch it to cover two this time. So I'm not going to be blitzing as many. I should have manned up the um, uh, tight end here, but I decided to blitz my um, strong or my cornerback. So he has the running back. Cool. Was it the running back? Number 11? Uh, no, it's 31. My bad. No, I think it's uh, Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. So, um, I think that should have been mine. Uh, just because Bobby had mid zone. But, that's okay. Um, those are just like hit or miss, you know, the timing of the ball. He's not going to throw that ball every single time. So, you know, he got it this time. Cool. But, um, he's not going to get it every time. And I know that, so I'm calm and collective about it. Um, you can get it once in a while, but eventually it's going to get picked. And right there we just scream at him. Um, so he takes a timeout. Cool. Um, yeah, so right here I'm about to be down one, but I was just down two scores. Um, literally like two drives ago so um, right here you know thank goodness that there's no kickoff in weekend league and I show him another cover four beater he doesn't know what's going on really so I just snap the ball wait for my try uh, wait for my uh, square receiver to get open that cat catches the ball that was a little scary because he could have caught me I had two timeouts so even if he did catch me um, depending on how long the animation takes. If Metcalf decided to break a tackle and then the other guy were to get me, that probably would have ended the half without me scoring any points at all. So um, I'm glad that that's how it played out. So going into the um, third quarter, you know, He's a little frustrated. I basically know how to bag him a little bit. Um, obviously, I'm in prevent D just because I just don't want to give him any points. So, you can have the checkdowns or um, whatever, but um, I'm just being cautious of what I'm giving him. So, I'm going in prevent D. Um, and he took a flag, so, you know, we accept that just because 
probably doing something else. And then he messages me right here. Um, I'm not going to put the guy on blast. You guys can see who the username is. But basically what he was saying is that I've been running the same D the whole game. And to be honest, I don't think I am. But if you call cover 3 and cover 2 big nickel the same defense, that's, that's your opinion. So um, maybe to him, you know, I was shading up, shading down, or shading to the to the side so it looked the same and showing my blitzes and whatever um, he might have thought it was the same but when I actually adjusted he just couldn't stop me so right there um, that was a good run by him but you know I kind of suspected that it was coming just because usually when people motion over on third and fourth downs they're trying to get an extra block so um, right here that's a little bit questionable why Bobby didn't pick that just because of um, mid zone KO even though he wasn't in a mid zone he was still in a zone where um, he was in the middle it's just like it l lit up and that you see there like it lit up and then it, the, the lighting goes away so I don't know what's going on with that sometimes I get it sometimes I don't I don't question it really you know, so right there he throws the ball straight to Shaquille Griffin. I don't know why he would want to test something under pressure. So after he sent me that te uh, message, you know, I just decided to celebrate. Just because, you know, if you want to be rude, I can be rude too. So um, I treat people with respect. All of my opponents with respect. So um, usually, you know, if... I'm beating by the my. If I'm beating an opponent by a lot of points, I usually just run the ball in. I don't really celebrate. I just uh, go on to the next play. But you know, he started the rudeness, and you know, he thought that he can do whatever he wants. Um, I'm basically showing him that you know, listen, you got a lot of work to do. So. Right here, all of my players are tired. Um, I didn't want to use a timeout just because um, I wanted him to use his. I know if my players are tired, his players are equally as tired, if not more, just because he had to chase me down from literally like the 20 yard line to the goal line. So, um, right here, Shaquille Griffin's activated. So I don't really have to work the right side as much, um, but I do anyway for some reason. Um, so right there, Bobby should have been in a hard flat. Uh, probably would have played that better, but it's okay. Um, I'm still adjusting just because my players are tired. Uh, he, and then he finally realizes that you know his players are tired too. So um, He's a little stubborn just because he doesn't want to get out of this split close. You know, split close is a great formation, right? But... Um, if you're getting pressured um, because of DBs or what whatnot, uh, you should really get out of it, or at least run the ball a few times. Like he's taking checkdowns, but sometimes like he'll catch those, and then sometimes he'll pay a punishment right there. Like Bobby just gave him a huge hit stick with 95 hit power. Um, I don't know what the threshold for uh, sustaining uh, big hits are. But I'd imagine it's just like it's not that high just because, um, you know, when it comes to a smaller receiver with less weight and less strength, um, ball carrier doesn't really matter just because Bo Jackson fumbles and Bo Jackson is one of the heaviest running backs in the game. And he had a high carrying, but apparently um, he still fumbles. So there is a threshold on how people fumble. Um, I just don't know what it is yet. So right here, I don't agree with this. EA should have gave me that pick. Um, I played that perfectly. If you guys want to rewind it, um, I baited him on a route on the drag, and then I went back to the cross, and he threw it above me for some reason. I don't think he highballed that. If he highballed that, then sure, I probably would have gotten it because Quandry Diggs is 5'9". But if he just bullet passed it, I b do believe that pick artist should be allow you to catch it. Um, so right there, I was a little upset. That's okay. Um, 
and Bobby's gonna play that just because you know he doesn't have Gunslinger. If he had Gunslinger and threw it a little bit earlier, he probably would have caught that. Um, I'm not sure about Rack catching it, just because if he Rack caught it, Bobby's in the vicinity to play the game. But if he possession catched it and died for it, uh, he probably would have got it. So right here, I know his routes, sending three routes out or four rather, um, but only. A few of them are going to get open. I don't know what he was trying to throw there. Maybe to Kittle. Um, but throwing on a run without dashing dead eye is a little bit tough. So um, Right here, he knows that I'm trying to beat him over the top now. That's not a surprise. Um, so he's ready for it, really. Um, and then, unfortunately, I get clocked in my back because I got stuck on my offensive lineman. He actually wasn't in cover for that game, that play rather, um, but Dion should have gotten open right there just because of uh, slot up, no, route technician, sorry. Um, so right here, he kn basically knows what I want to do. Um, I give the ball to Cooley. Uh, fortunately, I couldn't air truck up the field, so. That's fine. Um, and this game is basically about to be over just because um, if I score on him here, that basically seals it. Um, I'm reading, I think I'm reading zone coverage right here, maybe man, if I had to guess. I usually look at the DBs to see what they're telling me. So it's man right here. I had a little bit more time in the pocket. And you know, um, in weak and league, you can't be stubborn. Uh, give your opponent the ball back if it's fourth and long. Um, you know, don't make yourself work extra hard if you don't have to. Like, if you're up comfortably, give your opponent the ball back. You know, um, it's right here. I don't agree with this decision. He went and chased after the ball, but ran backwards. Um, so he probably lost a few more yards than he should have. But that's okay. Um, Right here, basically, it's going to seal the game uh, just because he's the only two formations he's running is trips and uh, split close. So I've already seen his formations already. Um, so he wants to run this. And this is a dangerous throw, right? Just because um, you're throwing against like five acrobats on the field. Um, if that was open and he wasn't rolling out and staying in the pocket and playmakering up with Gunslinger, he might have got that. But if you're motioning with the field general, um, that doesn't make any sense. So right here, basically you get the pick um, and he's just going to quit. So if you guys want to see more videos by me, um, comment down more videos or gameplays. Um, if you guys need help beating coverages, I can do more videos since I have time now. If you made it this far into the video, please consider hitting the like button and comment down below on what I can improve on my videos.